and welcome to another Playmaker Unity tutorial. In this one, we're going to be looking at how to actually animate our character using Playmaker. Now, this may not necessarily be the best way. This is how I do it, and I, 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 I kind of like the way I do it. But you know, um, up to you if you like it or not. You don't have to use this, but uh, this is how I do it. So here I've got a very basic scene. I've got some. Uh, grass and uh, character here and then here I've got different things so I've got different positions for him walking different frames it's just a four frame walking animation and then there's the idle one here so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to be zero and zero and I'm going to make this to be say 0.2 by 0.2 so 0.20. Uh, say two five. No, uh, two zero is okay there. I think, and then two five. Okay. So I just get it to how you like it. Okay. Next, I'm going to put in my curry. Uh, what's called courier here. I'm going to put 0.25 by 0.2, and then the same for this one here. 0.25 by 0.20. So now I've got the uh, characters here. So first of all, let's just give them a name. So this one will be left. So walk left. That didn't quite work out there with me letting all the caps. Okay, and then call this one walk right. Okay, and that's what we need to do there. Now you going to want obviously a polygon a collider uh, because of the complex shape of them was answer to bang a polygon collider I've already got it selected okay perfect and then obviously normally you'd have them tagged so I was going to tag them as player here okay next I'm going to create an empty object and call this the player holder I'll tag this as a player and make sure all of it is set to zero and I'm going to add a rigid body 2D. Freeze the rotation under constraints. And then gravity scale 0. And then I'm going to put all of these into here. And then I can turn off all but my idle image. Okay, so <clears throat> idle does nothing. So all we're going to do is everything is going to be on here. Okay. So first of all, we'll get him moving, which is obviously quite easy. Okay, I'm going to put one state, call it movement. Okay, move. And I'm going to add translate. And then get axis. I need two of those. All right, so get axis horizontal. And for this, I'll give it a multiplier of five and then store it in, let's call this player. X and then vertical multiplier five and call this one new one player Y. All right, then set it to here. X is player X. Y is player Y. Every frame. Okay, let's make sure he's moving. Okay, and let's see. Oh. More loading. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, we now got our play moving, but nothing is happening. Okay. So, and now with our player holder, we're going to add a new FSM. I'm going to call this animation. 
Okay, I'm gonna call this animate. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna want quite a few here. So we're gonna add uh, four new states. So we're gonna want five in total. In fact, for this one at the moment, we can actually uh, copy from here. So here we're gonna do a float compare, and then we can actually copy that. Uh, it's control C and V, okay. Okay, we'll call each one what they need to be. So we'll say, uh, write idle and left. I just like to kind of get them in positions where they would be, put him there. Okay, and we're gonna want uh, events as well, idle, right and left. And we're gonna add these to here, idle, right and left. Same to animate two here, idle, right, left. Okay, so what we can do here is in right, we're just gonna do an activate game object, one three of those, and then a next frame event. Let's make sure that our next frame event is last. Okay, and then all but one is one I want to be activate, so we're gonna, sorry, all but all, only one, sorry, is gonna to want to be activated. Others, we're gonna uncheck the box. And then each one, we're gonna to set to specify game object. Okay, and because this is right, we're gonna have walk right as activate. We want idle to be deactivated and walk left to be deactivated. Next event, and we'll add a finish to here. And that links to here. Okay, now we can just literally copy these states and make sure we set that to finish first. So let's copy all our states, control C, then we can paste into here, but instead we're gonna uncheck for cry and check idle. Oh, it's not in the right place, let me get rid of that. Should be in here. So uncheck for cry, activate idle, give it a finished, and we'll link that to here. And then same here, but this time we're gonna activate walk left, give it finished on there, that goes there. Now we haven't hooked up idle yet because idle is gonna to go to here, and then this idle will hook up to this idle, then the same right to here, left to here. So it is, it is kind of a bit of a, a messy look at the moment because of all the wires or the lines coming out of it. Now we need to hook up here. So on this one, we're gonna set the float variable one to player X. Not movement X, sorry, player X. Okay, and tolerant float of zero, tolerance zero. So if it's equal, we go to idle. If it's less than, we go left because the X, a negative will make it go to the left. And then greater than, we're gonna go right. Check every frame. And then exactly the same here, except this time the float is gonna be y equal to is idle, less than is left, and greater than is right. Okay, now if we hit play, Let's see if it works, we've got idle, and there we go, walking left, moving right, down and up. Now, see, we are animated at the moment, that's because we need to do one more thing. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to choose all our frames for walking, 
and we're going to drag that so this is walking left so we'll add that to here and then animation we'll call this walk left that was spelt wrong never mind well not spelt wrong but capital where it shouldn't be okay and then the same choose all the frames for walking right add that to walk right and now we hit play. Now the animation's not gonna be best, so I'm gonna have to tune it here, but you will see that it all works. And, uh, it's actually not too bad for the animation. And there we go. Walking down, walking up, walking left. So obviously, <clears throat> if you wanted to have different directions, you know, you could add that to here as well. And then on the player holder, on the, the second anime, or for the one for the player Y, you would have it actually go to those ones. But yeah, but that is it. That is uh, how I animate my characters in my games. Uh, if you found this tutorial useful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Getting quite close now to 100 subscribers, which is more than I ever expected. But uh, yeah, it would be great to reach that 100 milestone, uh, first of many. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, any requests, leave in the comment section down below or in my Discord. I'll put it in the pinned comment and in the description. And until next time... 8-Bit Squid out.